hello friends welcome back to my channel and today we are here with another tutorial on Splunk so in this tutorial we are going to talk about uh, the date and time format used in Splunk and uh, usually what we see is in a lot of cases we need to strip out some like uh, from a timestamp we need to only get the year or the month date or hour like minutes kind of things so we are going to see about it how we can uh, make use of some uh, functions and commands in Splunk where you can strip out a part of your timestamp like year or month date etc okay. so for doing this we are going to use some of the commands like email and also we'll be using some of the functions like str of time strp time in this tutorial okay and we'll also have a quick view on some of the functions like now or time uh, which will be used uh, very frequently in Splunk queries where you can get current time and you, you can convert that into some date or uh, those kind of things okay so before uh, I'm getting into the topic I would request you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and like the video share and comment so to start with I have a Splunk instance running on Syndoy so if you have not seen my tutorial on how to set up Splunk so please check the tutorial like how you can set up a Splunk instance on CentOS. Okay, so this is the normal page where I am having a search query, and I also have indexed some data. Uh, you can see my previous tutorial. I have used some Kaggle data of climate, which I have imported as a data set. Okay, so which I'm using for this tutorial as well. So I'm going to run this query. Okay, which uh, I will be getting some output. So I'm going to use it for all time because I have not uploaded this in the 24 hours. So if you see this query, uh, I'm giving an output for uh, DT, a value for DT, which is like uh, year 2013 and the month is 09 and the 01 is the date, right? And some count and some percentage. So I have it uh, like uh, 2012 is there and 2013 is there. So it, it may vary like if you have a different content, you can have different years here. So now for this uh, now tutorial what i want to do is i'm going i want to strip out this content like i want to take out the year alone like 2013 then i have a month right zero nine and the date right so you know, i want to strip this into separate so uh, for first case i would just want to strip out only the year okay so let's see how to do that so if you see this format of this field is like uh, first this year then month and date right so if you go to this documentation uh, there is a, a different formats and variables which we can use it in Splunk okay so you can go through this so if you see there are different variable like uh, percentage m which is for minutes right and uh, for year it should be percentage y you see the capital uh, y is for whole 2020 if you are using small y it should be only like uh, 20 okay so in our case uh, it should be 2013 means it should be uh, percentage capital y and if it's a uh, small y it's only 30 right so uh, first step is i'm going to use another eval okay and i'm going to give a value called uh, details uh, here now i'm going to call this an epoch value okay and i'm going to use the function crp time okay and uh, inside this function i'm going to call uh, the field dt which is having the value of the year uh, the timestamp right it's not having time it's only the year now so uh, the format is it's uh, something like uh, this right like it's the capital y now right and there is a hyphen all right and it could be small m for month and there should be uh, another percentage and uh, small d for date so that should be the format right it's a capital uh, y because it's uh, 2013 if it's only just 13 i'll be using small y here okay so we are saving this format into dt underscore year uh, underscore epoch uh, field right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, use another eval command and i'm going to call this uh, dt underscore year alone okay and i'm going to use another uh, function which is the str of time okay so now i'm going to take the value from this okay so this one have uh, the values which we saved in that format right 
and I'm going to get only the value of year so I'm going to use capital Y here right and uh, uh, let me table both dp comma t underscore year right so these two fields I'm uh, putting in there now you can also add this field like uh, count if you want okay count and the uh, percent which are the other fields which are uh, already available now on the screen so let's run this now if you have seen like you know we have a new field called dt underscore year right which is having the value like 2013 which is the year from here for example here is 2012 right now if i change this capital y to small y okay so let's run this again query you see that it has changed only the last two digits of your year right 13 right? and 12 so that's the difference you have to use the format correctly which format you want to use it for your you know um uh, search if you can now this is for year right so you are using y for year okay now if you want to have a month you can use uh, percentage m and if i run it again so if you run it again you see that uh, it's coming as uh, 09 which is the month right 08 here probably I'll change the field name from details for month here right so let's see uh, what it, it gets changed right so because the field name you know it was uh, dt underscore month okay so I have to change it uh, here as well in the table okay so let me change that as well here now if you see the values are coming the month value right from here and if you want the date you should change it to date okay from zero percentage m to percentage d and you can also change uh, the name of the field okay so but you need to change in wherever you're using it so let me run it again you can see the date is also coming out now right okay if you want to uh, know everything we can have separate field also if you want to have a date a month and year as well we can do that as well so probably we just need we just need to add the same thing again again okay so i will just copy this email command and let me put it here again okay and this one i'm going to have it for year so i'm going to the underscore year for this field okay and uh, I will just put it again and I'm going to call this uh, dt underscore month and this one I will make it uh, percentage m okay, and here I will add uh, dt underscore year comma dt underscore month okay so the table I can get the old content so now you see you can have the date year uh, dt underscore year field dt underscore month dt underscore day right so which is all coming from this field uh, which is the actual field which you are having in these queries so now the benefit is you can use this for a lot of your uh, queries how to want to make use of like you want to change use uh, some search which is less than 2013 10 years before this you can minus 10 from this so you cannot directly minus something from dt field so it's not that easy so you can make use of some calculation out of this so i hope you you understood what uh, we were trying to do so we had uh, initial field value like this which we used the strip time uh, function and we mapped it to in the format how it is so if you are having some time format here we need to add the rest of that as well here so that i will show you in the coming section okay i will be using the time now or now time or now fields functions where you can get the current time and we can convert that into the same format so uh, let me remove this uh, thing which we have done yet so i will uh, remove uh, this content okay so let me remove this okay so we have the like a previous one where we have a, a field called dt right so let me also use uh, another uh, variable so i'm going to use eval okay and i'm going to call this now okay 
so this is the function now which uh, where whatever the value of the current time will be saved to a field called t okay let me put a table now okay so let me table uh, the values like dt and the field like t count and uh, percent okay so let's see what we get so now you see the value for t so if you see the value for t is in a different format right so this is like a unix format or, or no which is not in the right uh, format now which we need to convert into this uh, format so i'm going to use another eval command here okay so i have already written this here so if you see like we are going to use another variable uh, field called t underscore time and we are uh, using the t a field and we are converting that into this format where you know it's year month and date and the time format is our minutes and seconds and also this is the microseconds or you can go to this format okay and you'll be able to see what it is for so if you see high percentage q is for sub second okay so it can be millisecond or microseconds okay so let me add uh, that field uh, at the end of the time into the table and let's see what is the output okay so now we see that uh, the format uh, of the T is being changed to this format, right? It's 2020 11th is the number today and the uh, first of number and the time is uh, 155, 56 and 000 is the sub second, right? So 1 minute 55, uh, 1 hour 55 minutes and 56 seconds. Now if you don't want uh, the sub second, you can uh, remove this, okay? So it's not a problem, you can remove that part and you can just run it again. So now you see you don't have that uh, format here. Now if you don't want the second also, you can remove that second or the minutes you don't want, you can remove that minutes as well. So it's up to you what format you want to convert it. Okay. So this is a really useful function. Now function you can get the current time out of it and which you can use it for your lot of queries. So let's change this uh, now function with the time function and let's see what is the output. Okay. Now we can see the t value is different whereas the t underscore time uh, you know, which we use the eval is almost the same right so because we use the format uh, year month date and hour uh, minutes and second okay so you can use uh, time uh, function or now function to get the current time right which we can make use of it uh, for our search queries right so now let's uh, make use of the same uh, strip function also to take the value out of this so i'm going to use another eval here okay like the same way how we used in the initial starting of the tutorial so i'm going to use t underscore time underscore epoch okay which is i'm going to use uh, strip time okay and uh, i'm going to give the value from t underscore time and i'm going to put it in this format so the difference if you see uh, from the initial uh, query what we use we used only year month and date now we are using hour minutes and second okay so that's format here in the t underscore time if we are only having like dt we don't need to use that okay and uh, let's take out the month here so let's take out the uh, hour salon so um, you already know how to take out the uh, year month and uh, uh, sec you know or date right which we showed in the initial case so now if you want to take out the uh, hour alone so just put uh, the field here t underscore hour okay and let's run this search so if you see like uh, i've used this eval t underscore time epoch and which i save it to this format and i'm using t hour to strip out a t time epoch into the hour alone so you can see the output here so the method is same exactly how we used in the initial uh, search so we have to save the current uh, tn score time into the format how we want to see it or how it is shown here okay so if you have the sub second we have to use the percentage q as well now out from that tn score hour uh, as a field we are creating which is uh, only like a hour or if you want just the minutes you just need to put capital M because the smaller means for the month okay so you can see the five is coming as uh, the value here which is the minute and if you want second you have to put s okay capital s 
so you can see the output as 42 right so it's coming from this t underscore time field so if you want all the values you can need to add more eval and you need to add all those things so that is all for this tutorial i think we have seen how to use uh, strp time strf time uh, functions we also see now time and how we can strip out you know the date hour year time you know, month uh, not everything is possible using these queries okay so that's all from this tutorial I hope you are, uh, you know, uh, making use of this tutorial and it's uh, informative for you. And I would like to thank you for watching. So kindly subscribe to my channel if you have not done and like this video, share and comment.